Good morning, Squim. My name is Jane Prine, and I'm the interim superintendent of the Squim School District. And today I have a very special guest, John Bridge, who was a former Squim School District teacher, and now he is the president of the Squim Educational Foundation. So welcome, John. Thank you. So I have a couple of questions to ask you. Um, first of all, you're going to sail around the world. What would be the name of your boat, and where are you heading first? Well, when I went out, when I sailed out of Squim Bay in the boat, which I would uh, have written happy on it because I think it's important to be happy, and I would just be headed up uh, towards the uh, Northwest Passage up uh, by Vancouver Island and further up more islands up towards Alaska. So have you been to Alaska on a boat? Never. You've never taken an Alaskan cruise? No. But when I get my boat going up there, then I'm, I'm going to go there and take care of it. Your happy boat? Yes, my happy boat. So what kind of boat do you want? Sailboat. Okay. My husband is a sailor, and we used to have a sailboat. We've actually had two sailboats, and I'm not a sailor. Okay. So he always needed crew, John. I wish I'd known you then. Okay. That would have been great. You could have crewed with him. Okay. All right. So, John, you've had many roles, uh, both as a staff and as a volunteer here at the Squim School District. For those who have never met you, would you unpack your resume with the Squim School District? Well, I, uh, I was working at the Patel Marine Lab. I worked there for 10 years, and my last couple of years, I uh, what I did was I gave tours to uh, elementary school kids. All the kids in the 80s uh, in Squim Elementary School came and t- came down to Battelle, and I showed them all the marine animals. And I thought, well, maybe I'd like to be a teacher. So I went back up to Western uh, Washington University, got my teaching certificate, came back here and taught fourth grade for 20 years and uh, retired and took a couple years off. And then I was on the school board for six years. Uh, and now I just uh, volunteer every once in a while. Wow, I had forgotten you were on the school board. How could have I missed that? I don't know. That's your kind of thing. I'm yeah. telling you, that is that is one of the most, um, I don't know, one of the most difficult jobs, I think, and it's for a volunteer because it's unpaid. And you deal with a lot of issues as a board member, have to make lots of decisions. Sometimes people like those decisions and sometimes they don't. So what was your most memorable decision you made while you were on the school board? Oh, on the school board. On the school board, it was probably uh, the things I remember most are trying to get um, new buildings uh, for the school district. And we did that several times, and um, it, it never worked for me. Uh, so Trying to pass bonds to build them? Trying to pass them. bonds to build them, yeah. So that's, that's difficult. I got an email today from a superintendent in another district that said, hey, how'd you pass your levies back in February? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not an easy job, is it? No, it's not. Well, good. Well, John, it's, it's ni- always nice to talk to you. And um, what is your role with the uh, Squim Education Foundation, and how can someone get involved with the Squim Education Foundation? Well, for Squim Education Foundation is an, uh, a nonprofit, and uh, we receive donations from the community, and we take those donations, and we use them uh, for uh, teacher grants, which helps teachers do things, uh, funds things that they that the district is unable to fund for them. Some extra positions um, as far as uh, extra activity positions, not teaching positions. We'll fund uh, field trips over to University of Washington Math Day they have there where University of Washington people uh, will tell uh, the math students here at the high school uh, different things they can do. And we'll also, at the lower grades, we might, uh, we've done recently some microscopes uh, just some basic ones for uh, different uh, classrooms. Uh, we also do uh, some scholarships, but we're we're tending to push uh, money into teacher grants because that helps. It reaches a lot more kids, students. Well, and I also know um, that the Squim Education Foundation writes other grants that they are able to acquire. Because you've donated, the Squim Education Foundation has donated a lot of technology to our students that have the most need. Yes. Um, and so uh, as far as um, some laptops and different things like that, and we always, you know, talk with the superintendent and say, okay, what what are your needs and what how can we help people or what can we uh, 
tell teachers that this is the kind of things that we're looking for. But it's it's nice when people say they want to donate something. We'll say, okay, well, look, here's 10 things that teachers need or any of these particular ones that you would like to fund for the organization. So, Yes, and I will tell you, we are, are very fortunate to have the Scrum Education Foundation as a supporter and an advocate for our students. So thank you. You're welcome. And on that note, Squim, I wish you a great Friday and a wonderful weekend, and we'll be back next week. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today, and have a fantastic Friday, Squim. Squim.